Let's see what we could do on this defensive possession. There we go, E boxing out. Look at man, seven feet tall. Now we can push up the ball in transition right here. I see D Wade going to the corner. Look at the pass, man. I see D Wade running up on the wing right here. Getting a pump fake. He's gonna jump at that one. Hitting it behind the back, moving out, pulling up for him. We're just gonna put into E's hands with this takeover. We currently have Pink Diamond Giannis on us, so this is not an easy matchup for us. But getting. Alright y'all, what is up here today? We are back here today with the brand new Diamond Dwayne Wade, as well as this Diamond E. Jan Leon. Really hope I was at least close to pronouncing his last name right, but for this video, I'm just gonna call him E just to be sure. But yeah, that being said, these two diamonds that they dropped in the game yesterday, guys, they have so much value. Now, they are priced around 40K, which I don't know. I don't know if people consider that a lot for a diamond car, but for what they can do, stats, badges, everything like that, their animations and stuff, I do feel like they are 100% worth their value in the game. So we're just gonna run through those stats real quick. But before before we do get in those stats, I just want to say really quick, you guys, thank you so much for the support lately on the videos. I know I don't say it enough. I don't want to know you guys, but just thank you guys at the start of every video. But seriously, I do want you guys to know I do notice everyone that comments, you know what I'm saying, coming through and liking the videos, your guys' interaction in general. And even if you're just coming through and watching the videos, not leaving comments because, you know what I'm saying, I'm a similar view. I don't really comment a lot on videos, even though I do support YouTubers a lot. So for everyone out there, even if you're just coming through and checking out the videos, whenever you guys feel like it, I do greatly appreciate all the support. It's really making a difference for me. But like I say, man, two of the best diamonds were out of the game yesterday. So first, we're going to check out this diamond e right here this card is standing at seven feet tall can play power forward or center he's got himself a 96 on his offense 97 overall on his defense and there's really no big flaws on this card you guys i mean offensively he's insane 86 on his driving layup 92 post fade 84 on his hook shot he's also got himself an 89 shot close 88 mid-range, 88 three ball. So yes, this is a stretch big. Also come with the 85 standing and 85 driving duck. Those are very good stats. 83 in his ball handle. So he'll be able to handle the ball out there as the center. Also got himself an 87 on his block rating. Maybe his interior defense could be a little bit higher. 82 on that, but also an 89 on his offensive, 92 defensive rebound, 83 speed, 82 speed with ball, and then a 78 lateral quickness. So overall, you guys, this card is looking like a very good power forward, even center because he is seven feet tall. And on top of that for a diamond card, he is coming with 10 Hall of Fame badges. You got catch and shoot corner special specialist intimidator rebound chaser also has himself fade ace downhill and quick first step so you guys can see he's kind of be like a demigod out there on top of that he is coming with 36 gold badges one of the biggest badges that he doesn't have as a stretch big he isn't coming with deep threes so maybe that is what makes him a diamond instead of a pink diamond but yeah you guys i think overall this e very good card right here and then sliding up to the shooting guard position we do have this brand new diamond d wade if you're like me you didn't get that galaxy opal d wade we got ourselves a good budget option right here sitting at 6 he's got 90 nine on his offense and even a 95 defense once again these diamonds are stacked he's got himself at 92 on the drive layup 89 post fade so you can get that post work with d wade 94 is mid-range 83 three ball you know what i'm saying that's good enough especially if you want to throw a shoe or a coach boost with him he's also got himself at 87 free throw 90 on his drive and dunk for a chicago bulls card that's actually pretty high for d wade then he's got himself at 86 on his ball handle 86 on the steel rating 90 perimeter defense 94 speed 94 speed with ball and 90 lateral quickness and then once again you guys the main badge that this d wade is not coming with is that deep threes badge as your shooting guard that might be a big badge for him not to have you can add it to him but other than that you guys this d wade's coming with some very usable badges yo guys real quick if you've been looking for a reliable place to buy some mt check out aoa.com they got some of the cheapest prices and fastest delivery and at checkout don't forget to use code jake for a three percent discount here we go y'all checking out a matchup for this game oh my gosh we literally got two of the same cards in there on top of that he's got himself Giannis, pink diamond Kyrie. so Man, I was kind of hoping that we weren't going to get matched up against the same exact cars. It doesn't happen all the time, but nonetheless, man, we're going to have to put on a show with this D-Wade out here and this Diamond E, see what they could do up against a very good team. We obviously got to have our Ruby Isaac Bonga guarding this Kyrie. I do like this matchup because we are 6'8", and as I say that, he gets a free layup. But here we go, man. D-Wade up against D-Wade. We're going to see his good defense as well as his offense in this one. Hitting a little behind the back move, getting baseline with it. That one's going to be a solid two-handed finish. I love that they gave us a budget D-Wade. Like, once again, they came out that guy the open one that you had to grind for i definitely wasn't going to be going to that it's way too much time to put into the game hang on we got ourselves a turnover i see e going to the corner right here Pump picking on Giannis. he knows what we could shoot taking off that we might get ourselves a driving duck right there but we will take the easy lane first assist for d wade as well and here we go man isaac bonga gonna play some defense right here up against kyrie he's going to the corner 
Let's see what we could do on this defensive possession. There we go, E boxing out. Look at man, seven feet tall. Now we can push up the ball in transition right here. I see D Wade going to the corner. Look at the pass, man. That's gonna be an easy green line in the corner as well. So a solid start for us in this one. Wasn't too sure about this D Wade release. I did hear a lot of people don't like Wade's release on next gen in comparison to current gen, but I'm gonna be honest, man. First shot right there, felt like it was a pretty good release. Trying to get some interior defense, but so here we go. Where we're gonna be getting a lot today are just these pick and pops, pick and rolls with E and D Wade. So let's see if we can get one set right here. Okay, I can't get rid of that logo. There we go, come on. See if I get a little pick and pop action. Quick release on that one. We don't even have deep threes and we're gonna knock down a full white. So 2K helping me out a little bit on that release right there, but you guys can see very quick on that E card, especially for a seven footer. I mean, you get to release that quick. It's gonna be very hard to stop in those pick and pop situations as he gets himself a little two hand right there, okay? Trying to hit it behind the back. Oh my God, look how quick D Wade is with the ball. Two hand and finish once again. All right, we're both starting out pretty hot in this one. Oh my God. Okay, he just took a crazy three ball right there. I'm pushing up with E. I see Wade going to the corner right here. Hit a three ball right there before going with the reverse lay in. Oh my gosh, man. This D Wade card is so much fun. I'm probably gonna keep him on my team, by the way, you guys know. I do like balling out with some budget beasts. D Wade, one of my favorite players of all time. Probably just gonna keep him on the squad because he is such a good all around card. Here we go, man. Yep, now we got the slash and take over here behind the back. He's expecting the charge, taking that one in, getting a poster over Giannis. Let's get it. And in terms of what these diamond cards can do on the court, definitely some of the best for their value as we get ourselves a block right there with E. We gotta reward him right here in transition. We're gonna reward him with a little ISO right here up against Boogie Cousins. He's got pink diamond Boogie. Look at Diamond E getting around him. Trying to take off. Kmart's going to be down low. He's a good shot blocker, but we are running low on energy, so I think it's about time we get these starters some rest. Oh my god, hang on. He's going to turn it over. Let's see if we can get one more pick and pop in transition right here. There we go. E going to set it for me. See if he's going to stay back here. Get a pump fake up on Demarcus Cousins. Hit a little behind the back move. Oh my god, the speed with Paul is just too quick. And here we go, y'all. Second quarter time. We got the starters back out there on the court after a little rest. Looks like he's going to try to take a charge right there with D Wade. There we go. Getting a pump fake right here with E. He's got to close out, man. He knows that we're a stretch big. On top of that, we got a Hall of Fame quick first step. So getting to the rim has been no problem for us. He's going to pull up with a little moving mid range shot right there oh my god Giannis coming up that rebound though okay let's see if we can play some more defense there we go MPJ come up that steal D Wade in transition getting a pump fake right there okay hang on let's just reset it make sure we got some space out here we do have a post fade on D Wade oh my god it's gonna be some really good defense from him so I'm gonna see if we can try this post fade right here on Wade look at that green light and our post gonna go on a little bit of a run right here so we are pulling it only up by 13 let's see if we can get this pick and pop right here with E trying to get him some space for a three ball okay you know what? let's just take him in the post right here man seven footer on a seven footer trying to spin off him right here going back with the post fade okay we get a green light but that's one of the weirdest post fade animations I've seen in the game Xavier McDaniel coming up with the steal right here let's see if we can bump it up to a 20 point lead right before the first half ends I'm gonna call for an ISO right here up against Steph Curry this is our center right here calling for an ISO out here there we go just gonna spin inside delay the dunk a little bit so he can't get the block that one's gonna be another strong finish for us. Starting off the second half right here, we're just gonna put into E's hands with this takeover. We currently have Pink Diamond Giannis on it, so this is not an easy matchup for us. But getting to the rim, oh my God, Diamond E is taking off for the craziest poster I've seen a seven footer do in the game. Oh my gosh, bro. This card is actually just an insane slasher. 100% thought going to this gameplay, we're just gonna be using E for pick and pops and obviously his shooting ability, but yo, attacking the rim, oh my God, he just got D-Wade on a cross right there. Luckily, we take the charge, but we've drove to the rim so many times. Like, why hasn't this guy learned that he should probably sag off a little bit? All right, you know what, he's just gonna stay up on us. Topping the post once again, spin off this D Wade, going back with the post fade animation. That one's gonna be another bucket. Haven't scored D Wade in a minute, so let's see if we can get back in the paint with him. Okay, yeah, that one would have been a mistake right there, but literally so much space. The hook shot as well as green. Here we go, E with his third rebound of the game, as well as 22 points on this one. I see D Wade running up on the wing right here, getting a pump fake. He's gonna jump at that one, hitting it behind the back, moving out, pulling up for a mid range jumper. That's gonna be another green light. Hey, here we go, y'all. Fourth quarter time, still with the a decent lead on this game so we're just gonna finish this one out see if we can get some more buckets out here check out some more animation starting off that one's gonna be a quick one-handed finish from diamond d wade and then we oh my god look at d wade hopping the pass lane man that is flash for you trying to hit a euro step in transition that one's gonna be over pink diamond Giannis. with 140 left in this one i feel like we should get one last pick and pop with d wade out here hang on we got to take that wide open three one more green light with d wade then let's get one more pick and pop with e there we go e is gonna try to set it for us i don't know who he has on e right now but trying to get him to jump in the paint 
Oh my god, man, he's coming over with so much help. We got three people on us right now. We're not gonna be able to get a three up with E. We'll just take the green light with D-Wave. It jumps to the box, grabs the game right there. Diamond D-Wave with 25 points, one rebound, five assists, and two steals. On top of that, Diamond E had himself a big game as well with 22, five rebounds, three assists, two steals, and one block. So yeah, once again, you guys, these two Diamond cards that were added in the game yesterday, just insane for their value, what they can do on the court. I feel like really, they could easily be pink diamonds and have the same exact stats and badges. I know E had himself a good game but i really feel like if you are able to put deep threes or rain extend or whatever version you're playing on that card it opens up so much more to his offense because pick and pops you don't have to worry about being up on the line iso situations you could step back behind the lineup against centers use your speed to your advantage and everything like that yeah man once again you don't have to pick up the most expensive cards in the game in order to get wins out there there are some very good budget options if you guys did enjoy this video as always man it would mean a bunch if you could drop a like on this video to help get it recommended to some other people out there and as well if you're new to the channel take a quick second hit that subscribe button we are on the road to 40,000 subs but that man that's gonna do for this one so i'll catch y'all in the next one peace